一百一十二年度外交小结冰英语种子队选拔活动中区初赛开始。首先为大家介绍今天在场的贵宾，外交部陈伟林科长。我们特别感谢台中市私立新民高级中学王佩清校长以及中文级教务主任提供优良的比赛场地以及协助比赛事宜的各位师长同学。接着为大家介绍今天中区初赛的五位评审，首先是国立台中教育大学英语学系伊马汀助理教授。国立台中教育大学教育学系林彩秀教授，国立彰化师范大学英语系楚湘君专任教授，暨南国际大学国际文教及比较教育学系洪温柔教授。以及国立台中教育大学英语学系王雅英副教授。现在，我们就邀请主办单位之一的外交部陈伟林科长，以大家现场表演团体表演方式的计时模式上台，为活动揭开序幕。So this is what it feels like to be on the stage. To make it more real, I like to get the timer to time my speech. 外交部陈伟林科长演讲主题是 opening speech， 计时开始。教育部代表西明高中庄主任，各位评审，各位老师，各位同学，大家早安，大家好。我今天啊，希望可以做一个比较互动式的致辞哦，所以我请主办单位呢，也帮我的这个演讲致辞呃计时，想要体验一下大家在舞台上的紧张的感觉哦。<咳>那么今天呢，非常的荣幸，可以代表主办单位外交部和教育部呢，欢迎大家参加第二十届外交小尖兵英语种子队选拔活动。那么我在外派美国前呢，也曾经承办过第十一届到第十三届的外交小尖兵活动哦，所以我今天呢，同时是以外交老尖兵的身份啊，来欢迎大家。那我跟大家还有一个共同点哦，就是呢，我和你们一样，也都对英语学习非常有兴趣哦。那么我也很喜欢去比较这个语言的共同性哦。那我有这边有一个小小的观察、啊、跟大家分享啊，大家知道台语跟英语也有一些字会是一样的吗？比如说，这个台语拿去怎么说？好 ，take it， 大家台语都很好。那英文怎么说 ？take it， 对 ，A 一百分。<笑>哦，对，这是我想要观察，大家可以尽情的去分享哦，不负任何责任。但这跟今天主题有没有关系？完全没有哦，所以让我言归正传。That's that was just my lousy icebreaker to get your smile。回到我的主题哦，今年是外交小尖兵第二十周年的活动哦。那么我们外交部呢也。呃，主办了一些一系列的庆祝活动哦，包含这个外交小尖兵回娘家、征文比赛哦。那么透过这些活动呢，我们有机会听到你们的学长姐分享外交小尖兵这个活动对他们的人生职涯有什么样的影响哦。比如说呢，就有一位这个口译界，呃，一哥，他跟我们分享说，他当年呢，就是因为呃获得了这个优胜的这个队伍的机会哦，去荷兰的。国际法庭参观，那么因此呢，种下他对口译的这兴趣。那么也有很多学长姐呢，后来呢就进入到了外交部，成为真正的外交尖兵哦。那么非常开心，我们这个活动二十年有成，对各位同学有这样正面的注意。那么回首过去两年哦，疫情呢中断了很多的活动
。那么外交工作呢，也受到一些挑战。但是我们从来呢就没有停止，我们的外交工作从来都没有停过断停断过、哦。那我们只是呢，就是不断的去适应，不断的去寻找新的方法解决问题。但是我在这边要鼓励大家 ，to think out of the box， 反思一下。Maybe at first we were forced to change， but if we can actively Turn this, for, turn this change into a force for progress. Maybe the world will just be better because of our efforts. And that's why we tie this, this theme of this year to new prospects in the post-pandemic era. We hope to see new prospects through your perspective, through your eyes. And we look forward to be inspired By your imagination and creativity. 老师，你们可以凭我的创意。刚刚这个有创意的分数吗？<笑>你们可以凭我的发音跟这个呃、uh, pronunciation and enunciation。等下总评的时候，私底下让我知道就好了。Now, before I conclude my remark, I have just two reminders for you. First is to be remembered, be reminded. That when you're on the stage, please make sure that you're loud enough, loud enough for the audience to hear you, especially for the judges to hear you. Because if they can't hear you, they wouldn't understand what your performances are all about. Am I loud enough? Okay. If you if you think you're not loud enough, just get closer to the microphones, because without the real microphones, they can't hear you clearly. So when you're on the stage, please make sure that you're loud enough. And lastly, please keep in mind that no matter what the results are today, you're all winners. You're all champions because not everyone gets to stand on the stage. I was too old to participate in this contest. So the moment you stand on the stage, you're already a winner. Remember, you're the star today. Enjoy the spotlight. Enjoy the spotlight. Enjoy the stage. Thank you. I'm a bit tired, so I'm only going to score five points. Don't score me. Thank you. We're going to welcome the director, Liu Bu. The group of staff, we want to thank the school staff, the Taichung University of Taichung School of Public Administration, Wang Peiqing School Administrator, and the Chinese Language Department in the building and building plans, who gave the group of staff a lot of help and assistance. 因此，我们特别制作了感谢状，请主任上台接受颁奖。我们谢谢外交部陈伟林科长以及新民高中的庄文吉教务主任。Free living, crowded cafe, bustling streets, and that perfumey air. Yes, Max, isn't it amazing how life was before COVID-19? No masks, no social distancing, just us sipping our coffee in a packed cafe. You're right, Lily. We could come and go as we pleased, high five our friends, and enjoy the simplest pleasures without a second thought. Has brought ridiculous changes. Masks, hand sanitizers, and a new sense of caution became part of our daily life. Indeed. Was a challenging year, but we can learn from Taiwan's success. Early preparedness was crucial. In late 2019, Taiwan recognized the threat of COVID-19 and acted swiftly in response to it. It's been a year of adjustments. Our coffee dates are now mass encounter, and.
can be adapted to its new norm. Transparency plays a pivotal role in Taiwan's response. Social distancing. The government held regular press conferences to keep the public informed. It built trust and encouraged everyone to follow guidelines. But as a regular citizen, I often feel helpless. How did I manage to get everyone to cooperate? That, that's where public cooperation came in. We, as citizens, follow guidelines, wore masks, and practice social distancing. It was a collective effort. It's been challenging, but we also discovered new habits. Look, wow, look at this cupcake I met. The pandemic inspired us to find joy in small things. Tell us, tell us more about how technology play a pivotal role. It's connected us when we are physically apart. Technology was an essential ally. Taiwan developed mobile apps for contact tracing, quarantine monitoring, and real-time information sharing. This level of technological integration allowed for swift response and data-driven decision-making. During the pandemic, everything changed. Lockdown, masks, and the fear of the virus took over our lives. My business suffered to start. And many people lost their jobs. But my business pivoted to online sales, which kept it afloat. We also saw an incredible surge in technology use. Remote work, telehealth, and e-commerce became the new norm. It was challenging. It was challenging for medical professionals. But it showed the astounding resilience of our people. We learned the importance of community and helping one another. Now, in the post-pandemic world, the cafe is alive with energy. Max, welcome to the post-pandemic world. Look at us. No masks, no distancing. Just good company and hope for the future. It was incredible to see how everything has shifted. The past, the pandemic, and now, this bright future was an exciting journey. The past was a blast, and the present taught us resilience. We made the most of the challenging times. The future is bright, filled with opportunities. The shift of destiny has shown us that we can conquer anything as we emerge from this, I hope our business recovered and we rebuilt stronger. Technology has reshaped our world and it will do so once again. We learn to appreciate our health and love once more. The pandemic revealed vulnerabilities, but also our strength as a society. In conclusion, Taiwan's success story teaches us that early preparedness, transparent communication, public cooperation, and leveraging technology are the keys to effectively managing a pandemic. Taiwan, Thank, Thank you. you. What a lovely summer vacation we had since the pandemic. Absolutely. COVID brought us a lot of inconvenience, which prevented us from going abroad. Besides, it also decreased the opportunity for us to interact internationally with people from other countries. Fortunately, we can finally go back to normal and lead a regular life now. That's right. So, what did you guys do on summer vacation? I personally went to the U.S. with my family. It's awesome. What about you, Sophie? What have you done during your summer vacation? I also went abroad. Really? Where was it? it? also known as Burma. It is a country located in Southeast Asia. Have you guys heard about the country? Yes, the country is also surrounded by China, Thailand, Bangladesh, and Laos. There are also nearly 54 million people living there. The population is two times larger than that of Taiwan. The sad thing is, the border between Thailand and Myanmar lets a bunch of out-of-school children since their parents need to work. Therefore, I decided to help.
can to study. The, the things you dislike are our source of living and a great part of our culture. We have had this as a great grandfather. It's my thick hat. hear the music I used to hear from my grandpa. He said it's a traditional music for finding true love. Okay, Abby. There are fewer lotus step weavers not dead. My mom said most younger people don't have patience and want to do a hard work. It's sad to hear. But we can do something about it. We can create vlogs or videos about Miero's culture and its importance. Let's get started. Um, excuse me, Miss Fan. Are you going back to Taiwan next week? Right, I'm leaving next Wednesday. What's wrong? I really appreciate your help, but due to Terry Lurfin's teaching, you know that qualified teachers as well as teaching materials and resources are insufficient. I wonder if we can stay longer. I understand, but I still have more to finish through. But I will do everything to help. I can build a teaching group or known as a peer learning community connecting both local and Taiwanese teachers. Then we can develop online courses where I rec record my teachings and upload them. Finally, I can do live stream teaching so I can interact with my students online. Glad to hear that. We should engage more local volunteers to support the border school. They can help us maintain and fix the teaching facility. Please support, please support. Miss Fan also gave us some four games. And picture books that she made helping us learn more efficiently. We teachers serve as reliance for our students. The support of border school indicates an integration of a dislocated community. The cultivation of local teachers becomes essential. Together with the help of volunteer teachers from Taiwan, the literacy of migrant children will gradually increase. It's our duty to our land. education, protection, and opportunity. We, we use our, our own strength and power to light up other sides. sides. With education, can we make the world a better place? Thank you. Welcome to Taiwan's Youth Shark Tank, a platform for Taiwan's brightest young mind. This is our first show in the post-pandemic era, and our contestants are about to share how they can turn adversity into opportunities. My name is Eric Lee, and I will be your host. Let's welcome our three finalists. Woo! Hi, I'm Oak Lee. Say goodbye to your inactive pandemic lifestyle. Jump on an energy harvesting e-bike and earn money while fighting against revenge travel pollution. Hi, I'm Naomi. My proposal, Golden Ambassador, empowers the elders to overcome the social isolation caused by the pandemic by sharing their local knowledge to the younger generations. Hello, I'm Tammy. I've designed an app. Tourist Talk, it connects visitors to English-speaking youth. Thanks to a bilingual 2030 policy. When you visit Taiwan, you won't be lost in translation. These are all brilliant ideas, and we can't wait to hear more. 
the winner will receive a grant of $1 million to implement their plans. Oakley, you get to go first. Well, Mr. Lee, my apologies, but we're withdrawing our original idea from consideration. What? Mr. Lee, we would like to pitch you on a collaborative team project instead. Whoa. Well, this is a surprise. Let's hear how your ideas could work together. Please go on. This time, I want to dive into local culture, you know, beyond shopping and selfies. Hey, let's try that tourist talk app. All right, thanks to English speaking guy. Welcome to Summer Lake. Oh, finally, you speak English. Of course, this is Naomi, one of our golden ambassadors who will share some local folklore during the tour. of the Dao tribe. Legend has it in the waters of Summer Lake, living a spirit known as Takraha. Boom! Takraha's damage our fishing gear, leading to so much anger from the fishermen. They sent a young warrior, Numa, to face Takraha. And then, well, we realized that he was actually my people's boss. How so? Because of overfishing. We were harming Dagraha's home. Since then, we worked hard to maintain balance with Mother Nature. But it's hard with the garbage and the pollution right now. I heard Taiwan has a new program promoting sustainability and tourism. You are using it. The Youth Taiwan program connects visitors to English speaking guys, golden ambassadors, the more we paddle, the more credits we earn. The credits can be exchanged for free tickets to tourist hotspots, like the gondola right here. Wow, let's keep paddling. Bye! Bye. Enjoy your great trip! Speechless. Since reopening our borders after the pandemic, so many tourists are traveling to Taiwan. Thanks to a bilingual 2030 policy, we have opportunity to use what we've learned. By partnering in Golden Ambassador's well-versed local culture, the elders could pass on their story to the tourists, while reducing the social isolation caused by the pandemic. What? By providing e-bikes at strategic locations, even tourists can experience the innovative ways we brought clean energy to our daily lives. Perfect. Big ideas from young leaders came in together is exactly what the future of Taiwan needs. What does Young Taiwan stand for? Youth, empowerment, sustainability. Yes, Taiwan. Amazing. Of course, Young Taiwan deserves a million dollar prize. Woo! Again, this is Taiwan's Youth Shark Tank. We are proud to announce our second quarter show have seen a remarkable increase of 50% thanks to this groundbreaking invention from Taiwan. It's helping us reach our net zero emission goal by 2050 and won a gold award in 2023. Let me share with you the story of this great invention. It bothers me a lot. It's 
All because of these shoes, it trapped moisture after we're in the world. Uh, <coughs> how about changing your insoles frequently? Oh, that might cause a serious impact on the earth. Oh. Hey, guys, guys, come and help me with this box. It's so heavy. What's in the oh. box? Granny just sent a box of milk Guess what? Taiwan can produce 450,000 tons of it annually. Are, are you for real? Yeah. But how can we deal with that? Mm, just go away, but sometimes we make them dishwashing sponges to smooth their skin. Yeah. By the way, your natural fiber is good for elasticity and breathability. I have an idea. I want to make a loofah insole to solve father's problem. Wait a minute. You waste a lot of time. Don't bother about it. Yeah, you should spend most of your time on your study. That is your real duty. Yeah. My real duty? Of course. How come my real duty cannot be connected to the real problem of the real world? Hey. Karen. <sighs> Dad, Mom. This is a new plan so I create. National Invention Contest with it, getting the first prize. Wow! Congrats! Congrats. You, you make it. it! Guess what? Our government just announced the reopening of the border, and we've been invited to participate in an international exhibition in France! Wow. Oh, that's an amazing, my dear! Oh, my little scientist, what are you waiting for? Go pack your things! We're going to show our new invention to the world! Thanks! Quite interesting. Can you explain the features of your product? Of course. Our loofah insoles, reusable up to 200 times, reducing not only manufacturing and environmental costs, but also slash the carbon footprint by 30% across manufacturing, transportation, and use. Exactly. Taiwan's loofah, famous for its moisture absorption, odor control, and elasticity. It's really ideal for the shoes producers. Excellent. We're looking for the next generation of sustainable products, and we're excited about the possibility of signing a contract with you. Thank wow. you. Signing a contract? Thank you very much. I can't exactly. believe that signing a contract. That's amazing. Our efforts are not in vain. Exactly. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, we got a word in the household products category at the 2023 Paris Invention Exhibition. Go to Karen and Karen. Thank you. Okay, so what are you guys Okay, so can you guys share your future prospect with us? Of course. In pursuit of net zero carbon emission in 2050, our generations must take on the responsibility. We also want to take this chance to promote Taiwan's agriculture product and motivate more young individuals all over the world to showcase their creativity. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. How creative these youths from Taiwan. After the pandemic, the world is reconstructed with various ideas, allowing us to view the world from different angles. Who would have thought that an idea can turn the MUFA from ordinary to extraordinary? We certainly believe that this will change the world. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, yo, what's up? Welcome.
welcome back to another episode of Becoming Somebody New from Nobody. During the lockdown in Taiwan, we had to wear face masks and got temperature taken every day. I'm definitely sick of wearing a mask all the time. Hey, didn't you notice anything special about me? No. Are you even Taiwanese? Didn't you notice a logo? Um, my mask was made in Taiwan. Yuli, are you still asleep? The Made in Taiwan logo is right here. Even I knew about this, Yuli. I think you should get your eyes checked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot Taiwan donated huge amounts of face masks throughout the country, including Japan. Taiwan was nice to my country. They donated supplies such as rubbing alcohol, rapid tests, and masks. In return, the states donated Moderna vaccines for Taiwanese citizens. You're exactly right. Taiwan did an amazing job of ensuring the safety of its citizens by quarantining those who were feeling unwell. It's also possible to be diagnosed online by the doctor. Government also sends boxes of goodies to our home. Japan also donated AZ vaccines to Taiwan to thank them for donating an enormous amount of masks. I heard that in Taiwan, if you tested positive and left the house, you'll be fine. Is, Is that, that true? That's true. Taiwan was not the only country that had such penalties. I believe France did as well. In fact, during the pandemic in France, we have to fill in an outdoor form in order to leave the house. What's an outdoor form? The outdoor form was created by the government to keep its citizens inside the house instead of going out and possibly getting COVID. <coughs> but what would happen if you left the house without a form? If you were dumb enough to be caught by the police, you will be fined a maximum of $12,800. $12,800? That's right. That's how the government tried to keep us safe. Who even needs an outdoor form? It's useless. Calm down, Yui. In Japan, people were unwilling to risk testing positive because they didn't want to miss work. <sighs> in the U.S., unlike in Taiwan, during the pandemic, many people refused to wear masks. Thank God, friend was fully locked down. Hold on, Catherine. You're um, TikTok, right? I've never seen you on it. Do you use any filters to change your appearance? That's the power of AI. I can change my face anytime. I can have a different appearance in every video. Wait, wait. I will deliver it right. Hey, Catherine, why don't you show us the power of AI? Yeah, we want to see that. Not a problem. Let me demonstrate. Now that Zora is gone, let's prank her a little bit. <laughs> um, today, I feel like becoming a Japanese girl. This is my digital twin, a complete replica of myself. That's so cool. Show, Show some moves. moves. You used to see me as nobody, but now I'm standing and breaking free.
thought sharing our experiences of our countries is the perfect way to exchange cultures. Learning about other countries and how they handle the pandemic is the perfect way to gain knowledge. Those who cannot remember the past are doomed to repeat it. Despite the fact that we face different challenges, at the end of the day, our world has never been smaller. And now more than ever before, we, we are all in this together. Thank you. I did it! I finally invented a new technology to conquer the widespread isolation, which is the trigger of the great pandemic. That's fantastic. Can you illustrate it to me? Certainly. This device enables people suffering from different mental illness, such as anxiety, depression, psychological distress, and or even post-traumatic stress to try to interest others and help them to defeat the inner monster. Ding. I'm notified that two young people signed up for their experiment. Someone's unfilled my plans. I'm back. Give me the contact information. Quick. Ask your comment, sir. Welcome to Dr. Virgil's psychological clinic. In accordance with the clinic policy, I'll ask you some questions to determine the severity of the situation. That's fantastic! So, let's get started. Henry, do you often scratch your hair? No, I didn't. Or, do you often bite your nails? No, no. Hi, Sam. Do you have difficulty fitting in? Yes, since the severe virus show up, I stayed at home for a long time. Next time I want to meet new people, I I will feel uncomfortably nervous. In the end, I have no friends. OK, I get it. Thanks for the reply. Thanks for your participation. I'm Dr. Virgil. Allow me to tell the background of the virtual world. You will become the warrior of the digital world, assigned to complete a series of missions together with your teammates. Don't worry, just seven the challenge. This sounds great. I always crap and drive with other people. Maybe I can find a solution here. I have no problem communicating with others. I just, I just, I just can't stand it. The machine is ready to go into the virtual world in wait, three, wait, I'm not ready! Two, one. Ink is done. I have the courage to talk to him. Oh my god. Oh wait until he comes over and talks to me. Ah, hi -ya. I just forget. This is just a virtual world. Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, may I have your name? Uh, I'm Henry. Oh! Welcome to the virtual universe. On this uncharted territory, one mission after another awaits you. One reminder, only teamwork can lead you to success. If you're ready, push the buttons on the both sides simultaneously and initiate your adventure. Good luck. Henry, we don't have all day. Push the button. Woohoo! Game mode activated. <laughs> To that, I can treat my verbal impaired communication. Wait, 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 wait. Impaired? Hmm? Treat? Hey, the experiment is What's about to end, wait, wait. and you will what? be transmitted back into the real world in three, hey, two, what? one.
Hey, where's the big another patient in the virtual world? You promised that land is private. Hmm? What's the commotion all about? Hey, Henry, it's you? You, you, you are the excessively energetic boy in the virtual world? Ha 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 your service. Congratulations. Duh, I can't say it enough. My virtual friend is not my imaginary friend. I hate to say this, but I must admit that your virtual world is awesome. I can finally take baby steps out of my cocoon. My pleasure. It's all stuckies before we're done. The pandemic may spell a new catastrophe, but for you and me, it may also spell a new opportunity. opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. Ron met at the airport after the pandemic. They haven't met for three years. Alex! Hi, Ron. It's been so long. We finally meet each other. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's take a selfie. Take it. Me. Hey, haven't you recovered from COVID? I have. It's just the air is giving me energy. Calculating, calculation completed, arriving at a destination in five minutes. Go, Kevin! I know you can do it! Of course! Ever since we modified the image sensor, it has never run the red light. Such a law abiding citizen! Whoa! What happened? A motorcycle appeared out of nowhere. I think we should improve the LiDAR system. That way, our taxi can respond to its surroundings more quickly and accurately. Let's try again. Cappy, conducting road test number 3974. LiDAR reset, starting to navigate. We will arrive at a destination in five minutes. Wow! Our taxi dodged the rider! We, we did, did it! it! Greetings from Taichung News. By my side are two outstanding youths from Taxiology, an AI taxi company. Can you tell us more about your company? Our electronic AI taxi, Cabby, can reduce the car accident rate by 40%. What's more, it can lower the level of air pollution. And today, we have exciting news to share with you all. Cabby will now serve in Taiwan. Taxi, not Cabby. Taxi, not Cabby. Taxi, not Cabby. Dad, calm down. Taxi, not Cabby. Dad, what is with you? As a taxi driver, I've been suffering from the pandemic and your robots will crush us down. We're trying to reduce Taiwan's problems. In your dreams, humans need each other, not robots with our wounds. That's not true. AI pilots are far better. Traditional drivers are reckless. How dare you say that? But Dad, what? you are as cold as your AI. I don't know what my dad was thinking. Just give him some time. Oh, hi, Mr. Chen. Dad, I just need your support. It's not you I don't trust. It's a robot. Hey, AI. How can we let older generation accept our new technology? Helping others embrace new technology can be a hard task. You can stop by letting them use it. Well said. Dad, why don't we take a ride in cabby for once? No way. I don't trust your AI. Two no. Minutes. So, Dad, how was the ride? I admit your robot's driving skill is not bad. I think it's time for the new generation. See, Dad? Cab is made for the future. But I think there's still something missing. Come on, which side are you on? As a tourist, I like local drivers. They know which attractions to visit. I feel the warmth of humanity. The 
wants of humanity. That's right. You can replace it with AI. Well, hey AI, how can we incorporate Cabby with humanity? Here is one suggestion. Cabby and human taxi can live in symbiosis. What does that mean? We can provide both services. Let's, Let's do it. it. Taxiology, taxi of the future. Oh no, I'm late for the meeting. Just Cabby, your best choice to get through hustle and bustle daily life. Where can I get a proper tour of all the local spots? Choose Cabby. Our driver give you not just the most honest recommendations, but also humor and passion. Perfect. I can enjoy my trip without any worries. Our service can be found in Taiwan, Thailand, America. Wherever you go, however you like, ride with, with taxiology. In the post-pandemic era, we spend our effort to create a secure society, ensure everyone's right to have decent work, take climate actions to fight against air pollution, lastly, embrace our own values and live in harmony with technology. Let's, Let's welcome our new era. Thank you. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mia. I'm from France. I recognize that flag. You're from Malaysia, right? No, she's from Taiwan. An amazing island next to China. Talofa, Toku Yigyo called Rebecca. I'm from Tuvalu. Taiwan, the one that sent millions of masks worldwide during the COVID lockdown. Thanks a ton for that. And not just masks, Taiwan sent medical teams to help with hygiene in many countries, including mine. Indeed. Taiwan's been a global savior during these challenging times. With international cooperation, we can beat this pandemic sooner. Most importantly, as the teacher said, we all must work together. Medical professionals, people, governments, and countries all must cooperate. What you guys said is spot on. With the right mindset, you'll adapt well in this post-pandemic era.
worry so much. I've got just a thing to help you shed the timid side. Here's a kaleidoscope for you. A kaleidoscope? You can see all sorts of patterns in it. Just like the world today. The one thing that stays constant is change. So you want us to change? Yes and no. You don't have to change now, but you have to embrace change. In this fast-paced world, being able to adapt and embrace change is what makes you extraordinary. That makes sense. Now I know why you gave me this. I need to be more courageous, embrace change, and have a better mindset. Exactly. Jennifer, this is for you. A set of eco-friendly tableware. What's this for? After COVID, we all have to make choices. By making the right ones, we can make the world better. What we use should be more beneficial to the earth because everyone in the world is closely related to each other. You're right. I used to be stubborn and self-centered, but now I'm willing to make choices that help the earth. Thank you. What about me? This is for you, a beat down. You're a bit lazy, but I learned in the US that cooperation, like bees helping each other, is not just the key to finishing my reports, but also the key to fighting the pandemic. Yeah, I need to improve my attitude, try to be active, learn to cooperate, and face challenges. Did you notice these gifts spell out 3C? Wow, with a good attitude to embrace the change, an eco-friendly mindset to make the right choice, and cooperation with people around the world. We'll be living in a charming world. Hey, charming starts with C too. <laughs> Booking to Thailand? Okay, I understand. It's all right. <sighs> oh no, the situation is getting worse. How can we survive? Christina? Manager, a lot of travelers are canceling their trips and... Um, we are in a bad situation. And I'm afraid to tell you that you need to find another job. But... Here's your paycheck. Sorry for that. I really like this job. How can I find another job doing tough times? Hello, this is CNN 
news. The administration in China announced a ban on imports of Taiwanese pineapples starting from March 1st. What bad news, Mom? Farmers like us have to depend on the weather for food. And now we even have to depend on the international situation. Mom, I think your friend Jennifer's experience is worth learning. The same, Chris. Taiwan is a kingdom of pineapple, but only 10% of pineapple production is sold abroad. Mm, you mean we can promote it to global market in a different way? I recall seeing supermarkets selling snacks made from local produce. And they sell really well. But there's already pineapple cake. Can we come up with something new? Pineapple can be more than just fruit if we turn them into something useful in our daily life. Mm, it might work. If we put our ideas together, we can make things come true. Thanks for 